Hey guys, I want to show you some weird things that I found uh, while watching some videos about North Korea and I want to open up this discussion with you so if you're interested in sort of like conspiracy speculative things let me know in the comments and if not then I don't know, have a nice day <laughs> Okay, so here we have this pizza restaurant um, in Pyongyang it's made by this channel, Echo of Truth. I'm not gonna get too much in that video, you can watch it by yourself, but just something feels weird about this channel specifically. Un A, it's, uh, it's this girl that you see here, and she's just showing us some videos of her city, probably she lives there in Pyongyang, but there's a lot of things that she's not covering, like for example the countryside. I mean I get it, Pyongyang is quite interesting and there's a lot of things going on, but why just show this part of North Korea? And she ha there's like 1.5 million views and it's made in 2017. So what I found weird is, and I'm going to show you here, Korean couple date along the riverside. There's these three people always commenting. There's this guy Douglas Allen, Budu Saf and Javier Pake. And this Douglas is always writing as if it was a letter. And always about COVID and he's always very... He's pointing out some stuff from the video that I think they want us to see. If there's some North Koreans writing these things or even if it's Un A just like with some fake accounts, she would definitely write these things. And then this discussion between Bud and Javier, it's really creepy. So like not sure if this ethical or not, but I mean no harm. I mean, I get it if you're if English is not your mother language, but this just sounds super weird. And then he's directing us to these videos, both of them. They're just talking like greetings and some sort of like they're signing themselves. It just sounds really weird. And everybody in the age of COVID, what is this? Like these people, they have like no content at all. I mean, for subscribers. This guy, Douglas Allen, was named before Doogie Woogie. And it's really weird. And Echo of Truth is always answering to him. I mean, not most of the time, but it's weird. She's only answering to him. I didn't see her answering to other people, but just, you know. And here as well, Doogie Woogie. I mean, people can change their names, but it just feels super weird. And there's other... Um, accounts as well. So this is the video that they were redirecting us to, new DPRK, and the comments are turned off actually for all of the videos here. So it's easier for them to control. And if we check their thereabout, they have like half a million views, and from Netherlands. And this account as well, Fong DPRK Daily, has almost like half a million as well and it's based in Germany. Oh, and they're actually linking to like a lot of Voice of Korea. I haven't seen these ones before. Wait, I'm gonna check it through. But then there's also this North Korea Today, which has 14 million views. It's a lot. And it's from 2007. I mean, it's okay if, they, if there's somebody and they have the passion for North Korea, they're just putting videos about it. Like, look, this is from one day ago, two days ago, three days ago and yeah but there's something weird about this echo of truth and they also have recent videos like the last one is from five days ago if i remember correctly yeah this one so i don't know what's going on here like i didn't even know korean central news agency what is this are these from north korea or something what on earth is this what did i find Guys, if you know anything about all this stuff that I'm finding, let me know. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you, you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any explanations for what I showed you, just let me know. For me, it's only conspiracy. So if you guys are not into these kind of things, just... What's happening? Have a nice day, guys. Bye-bye.